over in Newton, there's an uproar about if the candidates on the ballot for city council can even run for that spot. There is a requirement that you have to live within city limits in order to serve. Today, two candidates were challenged on that rule. WHO 13's Roger Riley was at the meeting and has the details. Roger. Yeah, Lindsay, today there was a candidate objection hearing made up of a councilman, the mayor and the city clerk. Now, objections were filed against candidate Julia Prendergast and also on Barney Bashore. One neighbor even checked on Bashore's listed residence to see if he lived there. Once it was um, presented that he had filed his papers and was using the address of uh, 1901 South 7th Avenue East, again, just outside our neighborhood for which we drive by multiple times through the day. Um, I started taking pictures to show that there is no activity at that house. Now that was uh, Kim Didier. She noticed that all hours of the day and night there were never any lights and the drapes were always drawn in on garbage day. There was no garbage can put out. Now for both candidates, Des Moines attorney William Gustav presented evidence of residency, driver's licenses, canceled homestead exemptions, and on uh, their other residences. Now he added that the reason Bashore had not been in the 7th Street house was due to some remodeling that was going on. And in the end, the group voted uh, to take the candidates at their word and that they do not do investigations. Uh, I will make a motion that uh, there is no objection, that it stands as and they will be on the ballot. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Clerk, call the roll, please. Trotter? Aye. Davis? Aye. Hanson? Aye. What I would suggest and charge is the legislature next year, uh, I would ask them to take the situation up as regard to the conflict in the law as, as, as it relates to residency for candidacy for public office and make that clearer. Now, this afternoon we got a statement from Julia Prendergast and also Barney Bashore. They said uh, we've moved back home because we think uh, we can help. We hope we can bring our decades of success in the Newton marketplace to the city council table and we hope to bring council discussions and our experiences uh, in rehabbing businesses. They really want to impact the downtown and that's all what we're trying to do is give a voice for change. So they're really committed and this is uh, I guess just uh, uh, something that the mayor said they'd never dealt with but now they are on the ballot and it's all, all forward here uh, toward the election. All right, thank you Roger for that in-depth report.